and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for review, and this is a pen from Den's Pens. So Den at Den's Custom Pens, and uh, he sent me for this uh, for review, and uh, I'm going to unbox and review this now. So it comes in this very small, compact cardboard box, and, and I do like that because a it doesn't add much cost to the pen, if any. Uh, and it also uh, is very easy because you can recycle these boxes or if you wanted to reuse them to put other pens in or to keep the pen in, then you can do as well. It doesn't take up a lot of space. So I think let's uh, lift the lid on this box. And first off, you see here you get a little silica gel pouch just to keep things uh, dry. Then you get this pen pouch with every pen from Den and then you get the pen. So if I remove the pen, you'll see here, this is a, a Zeus pen, and I have reviewed a Zeus pen from Den in the past, and uh, this, uh, I can't remember the exact material it was actually, I should have looked it up. So this is a new Zeus, and this is uh, a blue diamond cast material. Now, if you don't know, Zeus is the god of the sky in ancient Greek mythology. As a chief Greek deity, Zeus is considered the ruler, protector, and father of all gods and humans. So uh, this is uh, a, a really uh, interesting material, an interesting pen. Uh, I do like these, and, and th this I, I know is, is going to be personal thing, but I do like the way he has these angled uh, edges, and they do match up as well. So um, for me, uh, this is a lovely pen. Now the material is a really beautiful blue diamond cast material that you can see there. And this uh, is, as you can see there, is polished to a very high standard by Den. Uh, but this blue diamond cast material is really quite captivating. And I have to say, I am a fan of diamond cast. Diamond cast, if you don't know, is uh, a material that is made by uh, Mackenzie Penworks in the US. And uh, diamond cast, the reason why it's called diamond cast is it does have real diamond dust uh, inside that resin, and that's what makes it sparkle. So uh, for me, this, this is an interesting uh, pen for sure. Um, I love that material. If I unscrew the cap, You'll see here it has a uh, number six size Bok nib. Uh, it's a steel nib. Now, unfortunately, Bok do not actually mark the nib width designation on their steel nibs anymore. So uh, I believe this one is a fine nib that Den has sent me. At least that's what he believed it was. Now, he's done something interesting here, which I don't believe was on the other Zeus I reviewed. He has a fluted sort of section. It, it it's quite a long section, but it tapers in and then flutes out massively here towards the nib. The idea is that that actually stops you uh, having your fingers going onto the nib and feed, which I always used to have a few years ago until I started to hold my pens a little bit higher up. Uh, now, the pen here, if I unscrew the section and the body, you'll see it has a standard uh, Schmidt uh, International Converter there. And these are not threaded, so you can just pull these out. Um, the threads here, uh, let me have a look. The, the threads are actually uh, short, but uh, a little bit pronounced, but they are. Um, you don't feel them if you're holding it down here on the section where you should be. Now, in terms of the uh, end here, you'll see that that's actually, I don't know, I honestly don't know if Den did this on purpose, but that to me looks like a Z for Zeus, although maybe it's back to front. <laughs> but but that actually it's almost actually no, it is. It's a lightning strike. It's uh, so I don't know if Den actually did that himself or if that was in the material. But that is actually quite interesting. I do like that. Uh, it would have been really great if it was on the cap as well. But um, I like that. That's that's a nice, nice touch. Uh, now, in terms of the length of the pen, you can see here, it is a really, really long pen. 
Uh, I have to say that this is a long pen for sure. Uh, you can't post these caps. They're not designed to be posted at all. Uh, and honestly, I wonder if you can actually... Oh, look at that. You can actually almost match that up perfectly there <laughs> for those angles. Um, but I like the pen. Uh, in terms of the cap on the body there, it is a very long pen. So uh, you do have to bear that in mind it might not actually fit in my pen tray it's going to be interesting to see this in a moment when i do a pen comparison uh i do have pens that won't fit in my pen tray so so that's also something that sometimes you do need to consider because i bought a number of pens and uh there are some pens that will not fit in my pen tray so at that point it, it, it whether not it's a pen tray whether not it's a pen case you do then need to think well okay do i now need a different sort of pen box pen case pen drawer whatever um, but I have to say the Zeus's I do like a lot and and I like diamond cast so I have to say this is a, a nice sort of pen so I think with that let's do a we'll do a size check we'll do a weight check and we'll do a pen comparison so the full length of the pen we are looking from tip to tip here wow we are looking at 168 millimeters in length the length of the cap, we are looking at 73 millimeters in length. So that is quite a long pen for sure. Now, see if I can stop this rolling away. Oh, actually, it's gonna it's gonna stay there quite nicely. Uh, the length of the body to the tip of the nib, we are looking at let's see about 148 millimeters in length. So yeah that's definitely an oversized pen for sure and you can see that in the size of my hand so i think with that let's go and do a weight check now the full weight of the pen and this is uninked if i can stop it from rolling is it going to stop rolling there you go we are looking at just under 24 grams in weight. The weight of the cap, we are looking at just over seven grams in weight. And then the weight of the pen, we're looking at about 18 grams in weight. So that's not a bad weight. It's actually quite, quite a good weight pen. So I think with that, I mean, I'm just going to show you the this material one more time. Like this is absolutely beautiful, and I have to say I am in awe with this. And oh, I really do like that that diamond cast material a lot. So this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, resin that is made by Mackenzie Penworks and turned into a, a beautiful pen by Den at Den's Pens. So I think with that, let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have a Twisby Vac 700R in the Iris. We have a London Pen Company Christopher in Caramel Aeronoid. We have a London Pen Company Christopher 15 in Primary Manipulation 1. We have an Atelier Luso Carina, and this is in the Black Ice Illuminite. We have an Atelier Luso Carina in the Diamond Nebula. We have a Dens Pens, and this is the Blue Zeus in Diamond Cast Material. And you can kind of see, I can kind of get it to fit, although I probably wouldn't get the draw in because it is just slightly too long for, for that pen tray. So this is bordering on excessively oversized, I would say. Uh, we have a Black Robin Pens Iego in the Stardust. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero Grande in the Sand. We have a Sailor King of Pen in the Lucky Charm, and we have a Visconti, and this is a Chatterley Luxuries Southwest. Now, let's go and do a writing sample. So, this is the uh, Dens Pens, and it is the uh, Zeus, and it's in a blue, and it's a diamond cast material now the nib in here is a fine bock nib uh, it is a steel nib 
Um, now, the ink in here today, I decided I would try a darker blue. So this is Diamine. And it's Majestic Blue. And I was toying on whether or not I'd do uh, Majestic Blue or Imper Imperial Blue, but I thought I would do uh, Majestic Blue. Now, in terms of line variation, you can see that this is definitely a Western fine. If I try to push that nib a little bit more, you can see that I am getting some line variation, but it is a steel nib. So you're not going to get a huge amount of line variation. But as you can see from those lines there, I'm not getting any hard starts or skips. In terms of uh, ink wetness, let's take a look at this. And we'll do a horizontal pass as well. Now, I do find that Diamine Majestic Blue isn't really a wet uh, ink. So uh, I would say that this probably is, uh, it's certainly the nib, it's wet, but it's not a fire hose wet. Uh, this would be an ideal pen to use in a notebook or journal uh, because it's going to dry fairly quickly. Uh, and allow you to change page without having to blot with a, a paper blot of the page. Um, what do I like and what do I not like about this pen? Well, I absolutely love the Mackenzie Penworks diamond cast material. I love it in this blue material. It's almost a bluish, purpley white, uh, sort of cloudy pen. Uh, and I have to say, I really do like that lightning touch there that, that Den has. Uh, on that finial there. Um, I like that it's a cartridge converter pen. Uh, this pen actually retails from £150. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than a few of his other pens that start from £130. But honestly, I, the additional work that's gone into this pen, I think it's really worth it. Uh, so for me, it's, I like the pen. Uh, I am intrigued by these uh, 40... I, I want to say these are 45 degree angles here on the cap and on what would be the uh, uh, body finial here. Uh, I like that it's also almost a seamless uh, cap uh, transition there onto the body as well. Uh, is there anything I dislike about the pen? No, not really. Uh, I have to say that this is uh, a really uh, lovely pen from Den and uh, I'll be interested to see what other pens that Den has available in the future and uh, also being able to meet up with him again at uh, some of the UK pen shows uh, now that the pen shows have restarted since the coronavirus pandemic. So, uh, yeah, for me, I like this pen a lot. So uh, I'd like to thank Den for sending me in this pen for review. Um, and uh, if you want to check out his pens, you can check him out at denspens.shop. So there you have it. That's my review of the Dens Pens Zeus Blue Diamond Cast in a fine steel nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.